And we're back to the Thousand Year Campaign. Starting off with the County of Portocolo to the current multi-continental or pluricontinental empire. Just barely on three continents, uh, working on a uh, fourth and fifth eventually. And also, well, taking into account that uh, different places count continents in different ways. Let's just keep you the standard uh, uh, five uh, count uh, when uh, <laughs> listing them. As of late, we can... yeah. Uh, I was looking at the rebels, but uh, yeah, we did conquer the coastline and the gold-producing states in the interior. Zimbabwe, Mozambique, into maybe uh, Zambia. Yeah, the equivalent of Zambia, I think. Uh, anywho. That uh, left us a bit overextended in terms of uh, the uh, core territories here. We'll be working on these for a while, and that'll hurt our trade, unfortunately. When we go to our uh, trade nodes, we'll be able to see that... Uh, oh, not on the home trade, but uh, on the other nodes. Yeah, 58% overextension penalty. That about halves our income and... In, uh, Constantinople and Genoa and other trade nodes as well so yeah our income has taken a bit of a dip uh, for the time being while these territories are not cored but once they are the gold will start pouring in oh well of course if uh, this goes down as well because autonomy is <laughs> really high but eventually eventually In the meantime, uh, we were supposed to... Is the fleet... Oh yeah, these guys are coming over. They're on their way, moving out. Perfect. Back to the capital. Excellent. That'll take a while. Ship travel wasn't as quick in the yesteryear of the early 16th century as plane travel is today. We do have to keep that in mind, of course. I was also thinking that our military limit, oh yeah, we're six under, so I think we can hire a few extra regiments for uh, our Italian army here. Couple of cannon. Uh, oh, that will be over the limit. So. Ah, yeah, the explorer, right. You need to get to work, but... We'll also have you... Can you protect the trade? Where will you make a positive difference? Let's see. In Tunis. Ooh, that make a big difference. Aleppo and Safi as well. Okay, well, let's send you to Tunis. Uh, and off they go. So, as for the explorer... Okay, this is just sea areas. We're not going to do that. We do want to discover coastlines over here, so... I think we can work on Western Indian Ocean Coasts. Ah, uh, yes, we're reaching the uh, total amount of points we could... Uh, hmm. Oh, we're fighting Corfu. Somewhat keep. Oh, that's the. I'm not worried about that. That's the Genovese uh, problem here. No, no, no. I'm glad those guys are, are up uprising. Um, very glad. I'm only going to say that there's not more of them. At Corfu, we'll be able to beat them. Uh, yeah, these guys rather quickly, so that's fine. And, oh yeah, we should... So, what do we have claims on? 
Yeah, we should work on claims in Sicily. And get some points. When will these start to expire? Leinster in three years. Uh, I think we might be able to declare a war in three years. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, 700 a month, that's not a lot. We really need to improve our manpower. Not much of a boost, I'd much rather, yeah, have you. Any good trade uh, bonuses to be had? Uh, you're not really in a trade, no, that'll benefit us a lot, so... Hmm. Maybe Tunis, where we'll be defending it? Ah, yes, I uh, almost forgot. Uh, we do need to send... So, we were talking about... Yeah, about you. Are you a subject? Yes, you are, of Hellas. So... Spy network going on your side. I would also like to have Lika on, uh, yeah. So we can declare a war on the Breton Company in Sicily, they're allied, right? Yeah. We want to have a stranglehold on all territories that uh, the Genovese are also contesting. So that we have uh, an easy way to launch offensives. Our chances are still good, still good. Alright, so let's work towards upping our stability. That'll give us uh, better income. A revolt? Oh, that's not good. Maniika. Where's Maniika? Oh, you're down here. How's your economy looking? It's terrible. And your unrest is terrible as well. I think we need to keep an army in the east here. I'd rather ignore them and fight the potential consequences if and when they come. Yeah, we're sort of overextending our military reach, I'd say. Even once our main army comes back, it'll only be... One, two, three and a half armies. Hmm, yeah, there's barely over 70,000 men. Which, I mean, is respectable for the early 16th century, but not really up to a snuff. For our ambitions, at least. So, should we invest in an idea again? How many years? Four or five? Five. I don't think we'll have enough points for all the coring, plus this and the tech. Hmm, yeah. Okay, well, we have some, uh, yeah, across to the limit on the military points. Uh, what was our most manpower heavy port, right? Yeah. Let's uh, invest a few of these points in manpower. See this go up.
Excellent. Conversion done and the Azores. So, one down. How many to go? Ooh, quite a lot. What's the fastest ones? Could we convert? Yes, we can. The Canaries. Uh, I think I'd rather do that right now. Although it is a bit expensive. Yeah, I take about five years. Yeah, catch twenty two. They're not the correct culture. They're not the correct religion. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go for it. We can afford it. Yeah, that I know. Yeah, that I also know. Uh, Byzantine separatists. Because of unrest in Naxos. Really? Why are you so unhappy? You got separatism. Hmm. Well, if they come, we got an army ready for action. Let's keep them uh, not drilling for a tiny bit. Oh yeah, that drill bonus is really paying off. Yeah, plus 40% is not bad, my friends. Not bad at all. In fact, we can get our African army to drill, yep. Yeah. Ooh, they lost a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, they're barely drilled at all now. Really? Ah, oh, interesting, they just went up the list. Uh-huh, okay, well... Our explorer is done exploring. Uh, let's go for Arabian Sea Coast. Do we now see the island? Uh, yes, we do. Horlavai. That's not the island. Oh, but that's the island I was talking about. The English uh, outpost uh, last time around. Mahé, we also want to ourselves. Il Bourbon, yep, but if we can, uh, yeah, crisscross, oh, the Maldives, hmm. Caldiana and Chalukya, however, are very, very powerful. They're the second most powerful uh, empire on the planet right now, just behind us. So I don't think we want to mess with them directly uh, for a while. Even though their tech level is not quite up to snuff, in all respects, in military technology, it uh, pretty much is on par. So, yeah. So maybe we want to move to Olavai and continue colonizing eastwards. Uh, these guys are almost home. A lot of troops lost by attrition at sea. Yeah, a lot. I want to avoid that uh, if uh, and when at all possible. I think we might have to slacken our uh, standards now that we can earn professionalism. Uh, for professionalism. Uh, more easily uh, to get extra manpower from that once we hit 25% maybe 
It's an extra 17,000. Lack of demand, that's no good. Do we have a lot of that? I'm guessing yes. Anything we want to contest? Not really. Oh yeah, here you are. So what else can you explore? Eastern Indian coast. Go. Let's see, what, what can you protect that will be the most valuable to us? Tunis again, okay. Well, it does seem to be the most valuable node for... Um, hmm. Okay, well, so do that. We'll have 22 ships protecting Tunis. They are moving a lot of trade power back to Seville, which is our home node, so that pretty much makes sense. Yeah. Okay, we'll revise that at a future, uh, at a later date, if necessary. Okay, they're quickly, quickly gaining uh, drilling experience here. Oh, you have no artillery here. Oh, that's not good. When will they rise? I'm uh, tired of waiting here. Four years? Oh, that's a long time. You can drill. Normandy is about half done. Uh, we are calm. All right. Our regent is. We lost training and wine bonus. That's not good. Have a trade. Okay. We even know where Malacca is? I mean, just barely. Ah, uh, we have islands here. Once we can colonize them. Coco's Island. That's the name, I think. Uh, and uh, Christmas Island. Okay, we want to colonize all these outposts to be able to have a good line of sight and control the uh, ship movements. And all the oceans across the globe. St. Helena is also a strategic uh, point here. Yeah. I think it's time we started uh, colonizing Brazil, maybe. And the Caribbean. Once they get back here, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Start exploring the Caribbean, my friend. Actually, uh, change my mind. Uh,
Go back to port, where are you? There you go. So, explore, actually, explore the... Because I'm not sure we have the range, so that colony is done. Yeah, we don't have the range to colonize that far in the Caribbean, I don't think. Huh. Okay, yeah. Explore the South Atlantic and then Caribbean, see if we're in range that far. A revolt and Cork? We just released you from the... Ah, there's no, no recognition for any of our hard work here. I don't want to have to handle uh, that, but... Come on, we need more money, we need more uh, colonies, we need more everything. Explore South America already. Ah, okay, so we have two self-sustaining colonies. Okay, uh, so one of these guys is going to go east anyway, so can we go as far as... Yes, we can. Christmas Island. Excellent. Oh, there's actually some uncolonized land here. Not easy to colonize, though. Oh, that's not terrible, but it's terrible value. The Adamans is actually a very interesting territory in which there's a uh, Stone Age tribe still today that the outside world barely has any contact with. And they like red buckets but don't like green buckets for some reason. A very odd culture. Okay, let's colonize the Christmas Island here, expand our range eastward. Ah, oh, there's some uh, juicy territory here. The menace from Rio Grande. We finally managed to convince them of our good intentions. As we made landfall, two men, one old and one young, approached our ship. They were not interested in our gifts, and when a musket was fired over their heads to make them back away, it wounded the older man slightly. Idiots. He ran to their huts and brought men who threw spears at our crew until they were chased off and two more rounds were fired. The adults fled into the woods, leaving their children behind. Some small trinkets and beads were left behind with the children as a gesture of friendship between the expedition members retreated to the ship. Before the expedition members retreated to the ship. Okay, well. Yeah, we don't mean them any harm. Rio Grande uh, is this? Yeah. Oh yeah, we want to, to have these guys as friends, for sure. That, that'll make it easy to colonize. Okay, Wales is at maximum relations. You can come back. These are some nice territories right here. Grain. Oh, yeah. Paraíba, Alagoas, Sergipe. Bahia. Bahia is a natural port. Ceará, another of the natural port, yep. Yeah. Natural harbor. Oh, he died when uh, drilling. Okay, do we have another free general? No. Interesting. You, however, is not... You're not drilling? Why not? Drill. Okay, we need another military leader. Garcia Gomes. No, that's a fine name. 
Alliteration is good. Short and to the point with two Gs. One professionalism. Great. Is he any good? Ah, not bad. Not bad. You're pretty much at maximum, uh, yeah, efficiency, but <laughs> that 25% bonus uh, received, uh, yeah, really good. So, uh, how far can we colonize westward? Show us how far, explorer man. Okay, plenty of new cores. Let's uh, keep working at that. Uh, I think I can make every single other. Yeah, perfect. They were all within one uh, interior territory. Excellent. So that done. Can we... Yes, we're at 101. Let's get our stability up. That'll also increase our income. Any successions we want? Uh, not really. No new objectives, and we're still not ready to push to India. We're certainly not ready to conquer Hormuz either. We'd like to, because that'll make... Uh, yeah. Give us claims over Oman. But yeah, we're really not ready for that. We need, oh, we need those two extra colony territories there uh, in order to complete this. And then we'd be able to gain Marjartin, Zimbabwe, Batu, and Zanzibar, all his claims. That'd be pretty good once we get that bonus. So yeah, I'll have to prepare for another war with Kilwa. We need that territory. I have to colonize that. Oh yeah, drilling is really much, much faster now. That's excellent. I don't forget making that decision. So, Wales is our friend. Uh, is the Pope... Uh, uh, I think a bit of improvement is uh, on the cards here. Glory Road. The lookout had reported signs of dwellings, but the ship had yet to see any natives until at long last, a coastal village in Pará was ah, sighted. A small force disembarked and was hospitably received. Something that was attributed to the natives' fascination with the men who were taller in stature than them and bearded. The natives were beardless and with some difficulty they managed to communicate that their myths and legends foretold of a time when their bearded gods would come from the sea to visit them. Food and gold were given, which indicates that the province is prosperous and would be of great value to us. Okay, one base tax in Pará. So Maranhão, yeah, not so good. Even worse. But, uh, yeah, not a particularly good uh, territory. Tropical is never good. And if it's not a natural harbor, it has a high development potential. Mm. Marajo, that's really poor. That's already the Guiana, Cayenne, Paramaribo. The Menace from St. Lucia. After a rather turbulent beginning with the natives of St. Lucia, we finally managed to convince them of our good intentions. Now that's the same thing we had. Uh, how aggressive are they? Let's see. Ooh, Trinidad is a... wow. Barbados. Uh, St. Vincent. Wow, that's not easy to colonize. St. Lucia. Okay, we can uh, slightly improve that a bit, maybe. I think that's where we're going to start colonizing. Can we... S 
Yes, we can reach that. Perfect. Just barely. Yeah, just barely in range. That's exactly what we're going to do. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well, uh, let's fabricate a claim and leak up. Akiragua Beasts. Before we went on an expedition, we heard tales of an explorer by the name of Hano. We had found an island populated with hirsute and savage people. Hano had made attempts to capture the males which failed, but three females were taken. Their ferocious nature forced the explorer to kill them and to bring proof of the of this of these savages. Their skins were preserved for transport. These people were called Gorillae by the interpreters traveling with Hano. That was in Africa. Really? You're talking about small monkeys in America? Well, some of the ape-like species we found in Takarigua must be these gorilla Hano spoke of. Missing NS. This is not this, is these. They can be tamed with some baubles. That's a lot of baubles. Do we care about Takarigua? No, it's a terrible territory. I don't care about extra aggressiveness and fear off. Yeah, we can just grab what we want. Thank you very much. I'll use that to improve our country. Need more manpower. Uh, not really worth that. 22, 26. A couple of these. Can we... Do we need to improve the land limit or the sea limit more? I'd say sea limit. We need more ships. Plenty of good colonial land around here. We eclipsed England, really? Yes, we did. Oh, poor England. They're no longer a great power. Or anywhere close to it, apparently. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate for them. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, so unhappy here. <laughs> ah, English. So, who can we choose as a rival now? Uh, Paramaras are close to us, but uh, in the Far East. We don't really want Egypt as a rival. Chalukias, maybe? The Seljuks. No, Paramaras already are a rival. Yeah, maybe if we want to move into India. Maybe. Ah, Egypt sees us as a rival, really? I thought our relations were... Oh no, they're terrible. Uh, I really don't want them to attack us. Uh, but I think it, they would be the easiest to eclipse. And that would give us more power projection. It's always good. And eventually we do want to conquer their provinces here, so... Hmm... In fact, I think they're easy pickings with these isolated provinces. And our Anatolian uh, ally here. Does Jerusalem hate us? Oh, Jerusalem likes us. Okay. Well... That decides it then. Egypt.
Uh, our uh, income is starting to recover with the uh, core and uh, autonomy going down. Okay, so what else can you explore now? Oh yeah, go further east. Perfect. Eastern Indian Ocean Sea, go ahead. Go to the far side of the world. Yeah, he's explored as far as he can on this side. We're going to, have to start colonizing the Caribbean as quickly as we can. Try to maintain control of the uh, Americas for ourselves exclusively. You don't have exploration or... Uh... Yes, they do. Damn it. Well, we want to keep good relations with Jerusalem. We also want to be Pope. Come on, die, Pope. We want to be Pope, die, Pope. Oh, that's going to be interesting. The Mongols are quite powerful. Let's see. Uh... Oh man, they really... Oh, that's a lot of manpower. That's about double, yeah, more than double the Mongols. An eastern power is rising. I don't like that. Oh, come on, I thought we were in time. Damn it. Ah, oh, come on. We want Zadar. Oh, exceptional year. Let's see. Two base production. That's not bad. A few ducats or 50% national modifier for a year. How much is our tax per year? Okay, 20% bonus. 20 ducat bonus. Okay, this would be better, but this over the entire course of the game would be even better, because super production in Evra... Yeah, generates about that in a century. Yeah, that's much better long in the long run. I think... Yeah, with the improvements in technology, uh, yeah. That's going to be better in the long run. Okay, so how far next year? Yeah, next year. Excellent. 1505. Oh, again. He done the army camp in Mozambique. Right, he's another military leader. Uh, yeah, let's get a conquistador. Toro de Brito. Yeah, actually, they could explore all this. Yeah, let's send them around uh, southern Africa to uncover all this uh, juicy, juicy territory. We might look to colonize eventually.
Right. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to send you, but... Just the cavalry. And... Oh, we cannot afford another leader. Okay, so you can't actually drill at the same time as the explorer. Okay, well... Too bad for that. Actually... Manpower, production, or tax? Uh, Almeria, let's see. Well... Uh, is this not a state, really? Wow. I would have thought this was a state. Uh, where can we see... I always forget this. Yeah, it isn't. Hmm. Uh, yeah. We need an army as much as we can, so... Hogefeld, uh, yeah, not particularly good. Ah, uh, you're ready for more exploration. Okay, let's see, East Indian coast. What did you find? Not much that we didn't know already. When will the colonists get their older already there? Oh yeah, uh... Uh, they're now at the bottom here. Okay. Lots of new powers around these parts. Austiland, Austiland, are you still at war with, um... No, but they're being sieged, really? Oh yeah, some sort of, uh, rebel force. If we were to attack you... We would lose stability because we have no claims. They also don't really have any allies, only Cologne. Ah, they're a member of the Holy Roman Empire, really? Wow. They are. Okay. Well, that's something. Upper Limpopo, there is a gorgeous natural park that is very really poorly kept in Limpopo in Mozambique. Glory Seeker, wow. Ah, they're Portuguese, of course they're going to love being Portuguese. Swaziland. Conversion. Ah, perfect. Another territory. Alright, so. Now I can move out of Europe, I'd say, with the conversions. Uh, maybe. Or, oh yeah, the course aren't finished, right? Yeah, still not finished here. Ah, so... We'll just hold on on that, because, uh, yeah, we want to do these fellas.
How long before our king? Not that long, just a couple of years now. He's terrible, so I'm not looking forward to that much. Plus, he's also still Tuareg. We had managed to have a Portuguese heir, but uh, as usual in these uh, situations, he died before he could do anything useful. Okay, so I think we're going to be short on... yeah. Diplomatic points, so let's work on that for a while. Can we find a better one? Actually, can we hire Da Vinci? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's lose the missionary. He's older than Da Vinci and much more expensive. So come, Leonardo. And you, I think we could use uh, extra trade efficiency. We'd be losing money then, though, yeah. Uh, he's about 10 times as expensive. We do need the points, and the trade efficiency would be nice. It, to a degree, would uh, recoup some of the expense. Yeah, we really do need the points. We've invested a lot in uh, annexing Normandy. Ah, yes, and military points. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Getting more manpower. Highfeld. Oh, there's some good territory to be had here. Great Karoo. That's a good one. Yeah, not bad. Uh, these northern territories will be hard to colonize, but... Uh, yeah, the south here, there's uh, some fairly tame locals. So, seems like a good prospect. And so there's the uh, North uh, American uh, Caribbean uh, opportunities. And Brazil, soon enough to be ours, I'd say. But all of that is going to be next time. Till then.